Hello everyone, it's Dominic here from Esports News UK. I'm at my local college here, West Suffolk College in Bury St Edmunds, and they run an esports course, and I'm joined by the person leading that course. It's Ben. Uh, ben, please introduce yourself. Uh, tell us about your title and what you do here. So, my name's Ben. Um, I'm the course director for the Level 3 Esports at West Suffolk College, um, which is basically I'm kind of uh, the student's manager, so we look after the students, their well-being, making sure they're doing all right on the course. Um, we get to write some of the material and bits that go with it and work with the rest of the team uh, to make sure that everybody's achieving and, and doing really well. So how long have you been doing this now, this course? Um, so we've been doing this since the course started. So we, this is our second, almost our third year of running the course now. Um, so back when we started, um, we were literally the pioneers. I think there was about eight or nine colleges originally that were sort of looking at this. Um, we started doing the extended from um, the word go. I know some of the colleges have sort of started small and worked up, but we've kind of jumped straight in feet first and, and sort of you know, push the boundaries a little bit. Mm. Um, it's been quite interesting. There's been some um, educating of other members of staff and sort of higher management, because obviously eSports has that kind of little um, stigma that, oh, it's gaming. So there's been quite a few times I've got my elevator pitch that I sit down with, um, to even teachers from other schools will message me and ask. Um, and we talk about actually what it is and the skill set that's actually involved. and. Um, the diverse range and the, the perfect part is that, you know, two years, if you decide esports world isn't something you want to go into, the, the skill set that comes with doing what we do is, is huge and it can take you almost anywhere, really, when you look at what, what, what they can do at the end of it. Yeah. Which is brilliant. And you have other courses here, games design and things like that. This is the Pearson B tech, right? Yeah. Level you do level two and level three here. Um, we've got a level two on the books. Um, this is something we're looking into for uh, the future. We're currently in uh, the process of actually moving. We're we're um, getting a purpose built esports lab, um, which is going to be really beneficial to us this year and allow us to um, produce a lot more content, stream more regularly, um, and kind of have more of a presence online. So yeah, once we've kind of moved and we're settled into our new area, that's kind of the plan. We're looking at bringing the level two in um, and having that step up to the level three as well. Which will that uh, area? Will that have a sort of arena? I know there are some colleges out there, or uni tend to be more some of the universities have these arenas or spaces for commentators to practice but I'm guessing you'll have all the rigs and things yeah the plan is we've kind of so our esports lab um, will have about 24 gaming machines in there um, it's big enough that we've actually got an area where we can have six other machines um, set up and that'll allow people to work on video editing look at shoutcasting um, setting their streaming kit up and ready mm -hmm. Um, we're hoping to get some soundproof booths as well um, out in our area and um, we've got a nice sort of social area outside as well yeah. uh, a couple of soundproof booths where they can go and do some shoutcasting without disturbing each other or, or streaming so yeah that's, it's I've got massive plans for what I want to do it's it's fitting it all in and um, getting uh, things like funding and sort of support from local businesses and um, like what we're doing with getting some of these speakers in and chatting to people and getting some other ideas um, of things that we can do because you know I don't know everything I try <laughs> neither do I <laughs> so it's nice to have other people um, yeah. to sort of look at what we're doing and go oh have you thought about this have you tried this yeah. um, the yeah. chat we had last week with Guild um, and talking about the Guild Academy you know there are students that want to become professional gamers um, and we are part of British Esports and we do use um, the British Esports student champs as an outlet for things like live streaming, shoutcasting, coaching, um, team management, skills and strategies, things like that. Mm. Um, but there's not always the opportunity there. And just chatting with um, the chap from Guild, he was saying that they actually actively scout um, their uh, players from their training sessions. So there's an actual outlet there for you know potentially some of the students from West Suffolk College becoming you know professional game within the guild and for me that's perfect and that's something we want to be involved in Th that path to pro i was talking to one of your students just now who was saying he finished i think 84th in the Fortnite world yeah. cup which some people might think 84th isn't that good dom Doesn't oh it takes a lot to get there when there's however many hundreds of thousands i think that entered that because that was an open um tournament the Fortnite world cup you know and he's a challenger level player in league of legends to be high level in both Fortnite and league of legends is impressive so it's good to have that 
path to Brian. Thanks to Ryan uh, Barnett, aka Barnett, for giving that talk. I've, we've I've arranged a few talks for you. I hope it's been useful. Speakers from different organisations, different entities. Um, we've got some more today. Kin and Lowe, one of my friends, uh, a well-known caster in League of Legends, Excoundrel. How's that been? Is that something you're looking to do more of as well, Ben? Yeah. So it's we. A part of what we do, there is an element where they will, we will look at getting them into a work placement or getting some work experience of what we're doing. Yeah. And this is a fantastic way because, I mean, with, with most sort of 16, 17 year old students now, you'll say to them, you know, what do you want to do? What do you fancy? And a lot of the time it's kind of, well, I don't really know. And that's that's OK. Not knowing is fine. So this is why we bring these speakers in, because they've got their own perspectives of what they do. And they might be, you know, there's some of these I've already had comments from some students that have said, oh, I never thought about doing that. I never thought it worked like that. And it's this is why we like getting people in to come and talk. So, yeah, the, these talks are brilliant. We do record them. They're there for posterity for our students to watch back if they think, oh, Ryan said something. What did he say? I can't remember that they can watch back and, you know, get their advice, mm. um, which is really good. Well, you mentioned your lab. When do you plan to open that? What? So we are currently in the process of having a little bit of a rejig. It should be start to be built over Easter period. So hopefully for September uh, 2022 with our new intake of students, we should be up and running and sorted. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll have to have you back to have a little look round and kind of see what we're doing. I'd love to. Yeah, I, I feel privileged, really, to have moved to Suffolk a year and a half ago and have the working relationship I have with West Suffolk College now. It's uh, it's really nice. Uh, I haven't turned my back on my Essex roots, but <laughs> it's nice to be here as well. It's a yeah. bit quieter and a bit less busy. What are the sort of benefits you've seen from doing this, Ben? Because some of the sceptics out there will say it is playing games all day, but that's not the case, right? Because you have all these different careers and transferable skills is something yeah. that's mentioned. It's, um, it's, it's quite interesting. I mean, we get in um, sort of 16-year-old boys and girls come in and, and join in the course. Um, and with COVID, we've seen that there are a lot of them that have kind of lived in their own virtual world and now coming back into mainstream um, have been a little bit shy. But what I'm really proud of is um, we do, we promote teamwork and collaboration and even, they don't even realise it half the time. For example, just playing in British esports, mm. the fact that they have to, you know, organise themselves a bit more, think about when they're going to practice and they're planning, you know, having to work together, build the strategies to make a working team. For them, it's the playing part, mm. but for us, it's all those other concepts and the team building and collaboration that they're doing um, that has the benefit. Um, just for an example, I've got um, Rohan, you talked about um, in the League of Legends um, playing. I've also got a student who doesn't do the game side of stuff, but he likes content creation. And when he started with us, he had something like 7,000 followers. So he had a started and an established a channel. Um, he's not far off 100,000 followers within the two years with us. That's amazing. So it? just through sort of the things that we do and the different ideas we talk about and the different outlets and avenues that we've shown him, he's grown mm -hmm. his channel even further. And that's not esports content, is That's it? not so esports content no, either, no. no. So even what we're doing, um, what he's doing, it's not esports content. Um, but those skills, he can use those skills if he decided to produce esports content. Yeah. He's got the, the know-how. More than I have in video, that's for sure. I'm more of an article person, but it's fun to be doing these videos again. At one point, so obviously, again, we, we sort of get him into sort of work experience or a work placement. Um, his one was actually with Wisp. He was doing all the editing for Wisp at one point um, as part of his work experience. So, yeah, he's, you know, we've reached out. Some of these YouTubers have looked at what he's done and gone, yeah, okay, well, this and yeah, let's work with me. Yeah. So Wisp was actually paying him at one point to actually right. go and edit all his work, which is really cool. Absolutely. Um, ben, we've covered quite a bit. Is there anything else I might have missed? Anything else you want to add about your esports plans or anything about West Suffolk College? Um, I've got some big plans. Keep an eye on this five-year plan I've got and I'm working on it. And at some point, I'll probably do my own video and we'll talk about where I think we'll be in five years. Mm. Um, hopefully, people are beginning to realise the value of esports. Um, if there are any teachers or anybody that wants to have a chat or talk about this or understand what we do or come and visit and have a chat, I'm more than happy to do that. There are still people that are 
resistive to kind of what we do within esports mm -hmm. but once you understand what we do once i show you some of the things and some of the work that the students are producing and some of the support we've got from the likes of dominic and the and these guys that are coming to chat to my students it is worth it and it's such an awesome range of skills and for the digital world that we're in now it's something that we're we're very short of mm -hmm. you know with every, with covid and everybody working from home and going online these are the skill sets that people are needing yeah. I'm just going to put you on the spot. Lastly, uh, Ben, I, I didn't plan this. It's just popped into my head. There are skeptics out there who, uh, you know, have a more negative view or they might say you don't need uh, a qualification, specifically degrees. They sort of criticise, I, I guess, because that comes with added tuition fees and so on. What would you say to them? Because for me, I, I, I hear where they're coming from, but I also have seen value from degrees. I've also seen value i think college sixth form is slightly different mm. you, you're younger you're still learning things that, you know um what would your sort of what would you say to those people um i think with what we the way we teach esports it is quite a diverse range of skills that we will give you now hopefully at some point over the two years with us mm. you'll find your niche and you'll find something that you like and and while you could go out into the world of work and you could try and get a job and, and work in that area. University allows you to, to sort of specialise in that area and hone those skills even more, make those connections in that world. Um, so, yeah, university is a good step. I think degrees do have their merit. Again, they're maybe not for everybody, um, but it is some, certainly something worth considering. There are about 80 four different types of esports courses at the moment we are in the process of looking to write our own for our university campus at west Suffolk college so hopefully it will be something it was kept, it's been designed by my first and second year students in collaboration with um, the university so hopefully it will be something that they want to do they've had a hand in designing it they're gonna look at the the specialisms that they're interested in rather than it being this kind of general course so hopefully that's that's kind of where we're going and moving forward with it. That's good to hear as well because esports is so community focused, and I think that's been some of the criticisms of some degrees out there that you know it wasn't what the students wanted or expected. Mm. So having that student input, I think, is vital. So Ben, thanks a lot. No, um, thank you. Good luck with everything. It's been a pleasure to be here, and I'll be following you guys. And uh, yeah, if, if people want to get involved or offer, if there's people in the industry watching this wanting to offer work experience to students here I guess get in touch or yeah. get in touch through me or through Ben or the, the college and um, yeah it'd be great to see good luck in the future thank you very much yeah. thanks a lot Ben no thanks cheers thank you